All right, here's the thing about Mac McCann. I think it's fair to say he's a genuine indie rock titan. Not only did he co-found one of the greatest indie rock bands of all time, Super Chunk, not only did he start a side project, which also became a huge indie rock band, Porta Static, but he also co-founded Merge Records, which is about to turn 20 years old, and during the course of its lifetime has put out legendary rock albums by everybody from Neutral Milk Hotel to Spoon to The Arcade Fire. All right, I'm going to geek out on you. I, uh, okay. I'm a huge fan. I think I have everything you've ever made. Wow, that's uh, a lot. I remember seeing you live in 1992 here in New York City. I used to wear your wow. t-shirts around. You were sort of the soundtrack to my 20s. Cool. So it's cool to finally meet you. I got to imagine there are a lot of people who come up to you who feel the way I do, which is, you know, you've been singing to me since I was, you know, 18, 19 years old, mm -hmm. and I associate lots of memories with your song. And I, I have to imagine that's a pretty powerful thing. I don't think it's hard to understand, you know, why uh, a Bruce Springsteen record would mean a lot to me, but it, it's, it's somewhat harder to understand why a Super Chunk record would mean a lot to, to some, the same thing me. to somebody else, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, but at the same time, I mean, I'm not going to question it, you know what I mean? I think it's awesome. On one of your songs, you talk about, you refer to your voice as a broken saw. Uh -huh. so, is that, <laughs> it's been described as worse, not by me, but. <laughs> so is there some insecurity on your part about your voice? I don't, th I don't think I'm insecure about it so much as just, you know, recognizing reality. To me, is always been one of the beauties of indie rock, which is that oh, a yeah. guy who doesn't have a, um, you know, a, cl a classic voice sure. can, can flourish. But I guess it's just, there's certain times when you, you hear something and then you can't actually like uh, realize that thing because you just can't sing a certain way or, or, or whatever, you know what I mean? As a, as a, as a lifelong musician, that must be frustrating. That, you know, that, it, it can be frustrating. I mean, obviously at this point I'm kind of like, well, this is, I'm, you know, after 20 years, I guess I'm pretty sure that this is what I'm, stu <laughs> what I'm stuck with as far <laughs> as singing goes. Um, and so I just kind of like, you know, do what I do. If I see you, I One of the main differences between what you're doing and what, say, a, a major label, to the extent that major labels are going to continue to exist, do, is that I, I could buy pretty much any Merge album, mm -hmm. not knowing the bands, but I know the sensibility. And there's a high likelihood that I'll like it. When I first started getting into punk rock, which is really how I ended up getting involved in music in a real way anyway, you know, if something was on Discord Records, you know, it's like you wanted to hear it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you never pick up a record and see, like, Sony. Sony Classics, this is going to be, I'm, I'm probably going to like this, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hopefully if you see Merge on a, on a record, even if you don't know anything about it, you, you might give it a chance. Even if it just means like, oh, I'm going to like go to the, the website and like stream this record for free, and then if I love it, I'll buy it. You know? Drift out.